turn our focus now to the case of a baby-faced killer. Daniel Marsh was just 15 years old when he brutally slaughtered a beloved elderly couple who were asleep in their own bed, and then he mutilated their bodies. Now, Investigation Discovery's hit series, True Conviction, is taking a deep dive into the chilling case with host Anna Siga Nicolazzi, exploring how the twisted teen killer was finally brought to justice. He went out that night with one thing on his mind, and that was to find someone to kill. On the night of April 13, 2013, a depraved killer broke into the home of beloved grandmother Claudia Maupin and her 87-year-old husband, Oliver Chip Northam. He very stealthily cut the screen, went in, and he talked about standing over their beds and watching them before he woke them to ultimately torture them and murder them. The couple had been stabbed more than 60 times each, and objects had been placed inside their mutilated bodies. It is a full-size drink. Now, Investigation Discovery's true conviction is giving viewers a chilling glimpse inside the mind of a killer. This is the x-ray from the autopsy, and you can see the glass and just how far they had placed it inside of the body cavity. The crime scene was very bloody, but that was not the most disturbing thing. It was how methodical this killer was. No forensic evidence left behind, no fingerprints, no footprints. I lost it because that was the moment that I realized that she was gone. Claudia's granddaughter, Sarah, describes how the senseless murders sent shockwaves through her family. She meant the world to me. The community was at a loss, the family was at a loss. Police initially believed the killer was someone close to the couple. But two months after the heinous attack, the investigation took an unexpected turn when 911 operators received a shocking call. Davis, police emergency. What are you reporting? Uh, homicide. The caller, local high school student Alvaro Garibay, claimed his friend, 15-year-old Daniel Marsh, was responsible for the gruesome murders. He said Daniel Marsh had confessed and gave lots of details that had never been released. Every time I look at someone, I see flashes of images of me killing them. During police questioning, Marsh confessed to the grisly double murder, while also revealing an uncontrollable urge to kill. It felt great. I, I, it was pure happiness. That isn't something that can be quote unquote cured. Where does that fit into the, the brain of the type of person most often capable of these type of crimes? He's a psychopath. He knows exactly what he's doing. In 2015, Marsh was tried and convicted as an adult and sentenced to 52 years to life in prison. However, a controversial state Senate bill, 1391, recently passed in California, could reportedly overturn the sentence and require Marsh, now 23, to be released at the age of 25. What this new bill means is that no 14 or 15 year old can be tried as an adult. This family is fighting with everything in them to make sure that no one else goes through what they've had to bear. The law is reportedly being challenged in the California Supreme Court. I hope that there is never a day that he walks the streets again. For a deeper dive into this chilling case, be sure to catch Investigation Discovery's hit series, True Conviction, now streaming on Discovery+. Plus.